Hi, how's everyone? I hope y'all are all having a wonderful day. Today, I wanted to share with y'all some really cool things that I found at Dollar Tree this week. Um, I feel like it's slowly getting better since Christmas is getting closer to being over. However, I will say I went to um, one of my stores and they still had carts and carts of Christmas <laughs> that they were putting out. So, I don't know, um, you know, maybe they'll be able to go through all of it. I don't know, but they still had a ton of it going out, but I've stopped even going over there looking in that section because I know that I do not need anything else Christmas-wise. It's only four days away, so anyways, we will jump right in. I found some things that I wanted a long time ago and totally forgot about, so that I want to show y'all first because I'm most excited about these. Um, it might not be just real exciting. I can get them apart but it's just these gold baskets i had seen these in some other people's videos a long time ago never got them at my stores and then of course when you forget about them and stop looking for them there they are so this was the only one i think in the past i had seen like some rectangle ones as well but this was all that um i found and so i grabbed a few of these i just think that they're really nice i think i can you know, put the dog's toys in here or just whatever, you know, you want to use with it. You could even get like a nice linen um, cloth or like a little bag. You know, they have some that look just like that at Hobby Lobby and put that inside and kind of roll it on the edges. And that looked really nice as well. So I was really happy to find these. I also found these calendars that um, I was really hoping I would find. And it's these little um, wooden calendars with the little block numbers and months. I just think they are so darn cute. So I grabbed this one in the little llama, of course. And I grabbed the elephant. And I just think that looks so nice. And then I really liked this one with the black tree. I don't know, it really made me think um, Halloween. So. I think I'm gonna set this one aside and maybe do some little Halloween stuff with it. You could put little skeletons on here, you know, all different types of things, but I just really liked the look of this one. And I think that they did have um, a mermaid as well. And I think there was one other, um, but I'm just not real sure what it was. Um, I also found they had these a while back and they had it in a really pretty kind of sea green color. Um, a pearl white, a gray, and I had bought a set of the pearl white for my daughter, and she has them in her, her living room. They look really nice, but I kind of kicked myself after that I didn't get the pink ones, so I found these the other day, and I was really happy, so I grabbed a couple of these, so I really am liking this um, blush pink um, right now, so as you can see with my pink Christmas tree behind me. I have never been a pink girl. I've never been into pink, but I've really gotten into gold and adding a lot of gold. And I just think that the blush pink looks really, really nice with it. So that would be why. Okay, I also found these really nice wooden signs. And these were the only two that I saw. This first one is family. Look at that for a dollar. I just think that that is so nice of course you could paint it you know make it a solid color whatever you know whatever you want to do with it but i just thought that those were really nice i also found this one that said love and i kind of like the the pink and the white just the way that it is so those were the only two words that i saw in those hi riley say hi say hi here she is. <laughs> and then I also found this one. Um, it says thankful and grateful. And it's these heavy kind of, you know, I don't know if it's particle board or what it is, but it is really, really heavy. I do like the design and the color on it. And this is the only one that I saw. I knew that they, you know, they've had these in the past, but I could not remember what they said. And I don't still have them. I think I gave them away. So, Anyways, I found, and they had a lot of these. It was just all in this design. So there's those. Also, um, if you guys have watched um, my hauls the last couple weeks, I've been growing one of those little pugs, you know, and the little grow creatures. So I was just gonna show y'all, I, I believe he is finally full grown. Look how big he got. <laughs> 
he is so big and i think this is definitely as big as he's gonna get this is about 10 days in water i mean it really took him a long time to get to that size but i just wanted to show y'all because he was still really small last week so anyways that's what he looks like now okay a couple of um well i guess shower items i found this new um men's shampoo it's a three-in-one shampoo conditioner and body wash and it just says original scent cleans and freshens and this is from barbasol so it smells really good and um I grabbed this because this is the shaving cream that my boyfriend uses and he smelt it and he loves it. He said it smells exactly the same. So I grabbed him one of those. And then I also found this exfoliating bath cloth. Um, I, you know, they've always had the gloves, but I hadn't seen this. So I thought that um, I was just gonna use this, you know, like when I take off my makeup at night over the sink, I thought that I would um, just use this and be like a light um, exfoliation with um you know just an everyday face wash so i just wanted to try that and then i did find some new makeup as well well these first two things are lip balms and um, this is a cherry bombshell and i have to say the packaging just couldn't be cuter and this one is cherry bombshell really cute and it just kind of looks like those eos um little round lip balm so there was this one and then there was also this one that is strawberry shake and this one is like a really bright pink color so i just thought the packaging on those were really cute i think those would be really great just to add you know in stocking stuffers and things like that let's see i also found from elf some shine eraser blotting sheets and there are 50 in each pack i bought um, a couple of these because i do use blotting sheets all the time um i live in east texas and it, it i don't have super oily skin but it's super humid here so even if you have the driest skin you're gonna look like you're wet all the time so those come in really you know really handy they don't mess your makeup up so i grabbed a couple of those and i also found um this really cute eyeliner this is la colors and they had an a whole in cap if you guys haven't seen it it had the 20s 40s 60s 80s um really cute i loved the packaging you know they were different on every type they had blushes bronzers um, mascaras liquid eyeliner but i contained myself and it was like a brand new you know brand new display but i just do not need any more makeup i'm trying to use up what i have actually finish things however brown eyeliners i use all the time so i wanted to try the brown eyeliner and this is in the 40s but like i said they all just had the cutest um packaging i really liked it um okay i also found this um what do they call it dual ended mask tool and this is from yes Two. so it's just a little um plastic kind of spatula type looking contraption and so one end you could evenly spread on your mask with and then it says the other end you can use it to kind of pry the peel off masks off so i just thought that was a handy little tool to have around and i had never seen it before so i grabbed that and then i also grabbed these tweezers i've never seen these before i thought they were so cute these are from sassy and chic and there are three in here one is a pointed tip, a slanted tip, and a flat edge um, tweezer. So I thought those were really cute. I don't know how well that they would actually work for like your eyebrows or something like that. Sometimes um, they don't really have the best grip. However, I thought if nothing else, these would be really great for crafting. I do a lot of, you know, little small beads and things like that. So I knew I would get used out of these one way or another. So there's those and then i also found this elf lip color remover this is just clear and it says kiss it goodbye i thought that was really neat because some of those liquid lipsticks are so hard <laughs> to get off just a couple weeks ago quick story when i went home to see my niece and my nephews uh, my oldest nephew he's 14 
well I know I talk about my niece all the time on this channel and she we just love all the same things makeup skincare all that type of stuff so I had made her a really nice bag full of all these lipsticks liquid matte lipsticks and so we were just playing around in the hotel and she begged my 14 year old niece to let him put or let her put lipstick on him and it was the deepest darkest purple you know we were just having fun it was so funny i couldn't believe he even let us do it and um anyway so he goes to take it off and he still had this stained purple smile for hours <laughs> after that so i thought of him when i saw that i was like he probably would have been really happy to have that because we still had a lot of stuff we had to do that day so anyways it was it was pretty funny um okay and the last makeup item i found was um also from elf and this is a shadow and liner duo stick in black um so it says one end is going to be a matte black and one end is a um shimmer so i thought that was really neat i wanted to try the um shimmer and uh, shimmer end of it let me see if i can't just open this real quick and see if the shimmer is actually shimmery well i'll be honest with you i don't see any shimmer in that and maybe they just mean that it's not so matte let me put the matte next to it and see if there's a big difference I will say though, this is very dark and it goes on really, really easily. So can't tell a whole lot. This is the matte and that's the shimmer. So I tell you what, that really, um, you know, a lot of pencils you have to kind of dig. No, this came right off. So you wouldn't have to worry about it tugging at your eye or anything like that. I really like that. I just really wish that they would get some different colors, maybe browns, golds, and then I think I would really like those and use those. Um, okay, just a few more things. In the little Toyland um, gift area, I found a couple things that I didn't need, but I thought they were cute, so why not? Um, this first thing is a maze pin, and I just thought that was kind of neat. So it just has a little ball, and you would try to make it all through the maze, but it's also a pin as well. So I thought one of the kids, you know, when they're at school bored, they could try to do the little maze, you know, I don't know. Also, I found um, this that I thought was really cool. I might just do it myself. Um, this is make your own glowing bouncy ball. So I just thought that was really neat. There's two little, um, what would you call it? Um, molds. I, I, I was worried that word was gonna come to me. There's a couple of molds and a couple of different colors. And so I think that you can kind of design them how you want, but I just thought that was pretty darn neat. I hadn't seen anything like that there. And then I also found these really cool cards that of course they're dogs. So I just thought they were so cute. And it says, who's the most lovable? Um, and this is in pooches. So it just has a lot of different dogs on here. And I think it says you're gonna shuffle all the cards um, look at the top of the card, call out the number, and I guess you try to guess what kind of dog from the characteristics on the card. Not 100% sure I haven't opened it, but I just thought that it was really cute, and I bet there's some really cute um, pictures in there. There's um, There was race cars, there was horses, there was wild animals, um, like a earth um a universe one so there was a lot of different ones that i thought um that was really cute okay just a couple of random things um i found this adhesive pearl wrap which i was really happy to find you know they normally have the diamond wrap but i've never found the pearl and i know i will use this a lot so i was really happy to find this they did also have it in gold but the gold one looks really similar to the gold diamond wrap so I didn't grab that one. Um, I also found this desk lamp and this is LED, so it's gonna be super bright. Um, and they had some out so you could kind of see, but it's just this little tiny thing, but I just really think that it would come in handy. And let's see, do you have to buy batteries? Oh yeah, okay, it takes three AA batteries. Um, so, but they did have some at the store 
out that you could look at, but you can just fold it any way you want. Like I said, it was super bright and then it just has a little button right here. So I thought that would really come in handy um, at some point or another, even for my boyfriend in his shop or something like that, especially for a dollar. I thought that was really great. So, okay, I also found these really cute pins that just have these little, um, do you call it a sand timer, I think? Um, or hourglass. Where did I get sand timer? It is a, well, I, you know what? I saw some sand timers at um, World Market in the um, tea section in the kitchen. So that must be why I had that on my brain. But hourglass, sand timer, whatever you want to call it. I thought that they were really, really cute. And of course, it is just a normal pin. They did also have, I think, pink and gray. But I really liked this color. And then I found these two really pretty cosmetic bags that look like that crushed velvet. I love this blush pink one. I'm definitely gonna keep this one for myself. And the only other color they had was this one. And it's kind of like a charcoal purple. I don't know, really, really pretty. I love velvet, everything. So I had to grab those. Last but not least, I thought this was so cute. I've never found any of these books at my store. And this was the only one, but it was in perfect condition. Um, this is one of the little golden books, and this is everything I need to know about love I learned from a little golden book. So look at that. I was so happy to find this. I love these books. Um, here's a cute little dog up here. You know, when I see that dog, it just definitely, so many things come back to me from when I was a kid. Um, really, really cute. I hope that I can find some more and this one is pretty thick compared to um you know just the kids stories in the little golden books so anyways really really cute um illustrations like always so i was just really happy to find this book so there's that anyways that is everything um for today i really hope that y'all enjoyed um i guess i will not have another dollar tree haul before Christmas is over. So I hope that everyone has a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone and y'all's families. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and please subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.